How's it going? So uh, there's been some questions about programming the Dragon Driver with our La Lima Metalcraft um, flashlights. These are the 18350 flashlights that come with either uh, H17F driver or uh, CWF Charles Wiggins uh, Dragon Driver. Now Charles has some videos online, CWF lights, um, and we also include this handy instruction card from him. But folks have been, um, you know, wanting to see a demo on how this works. So there's nine mode groups. I person it comes in default uh, mode group one. Uh, but I personally prefer. Let's see which one is it. Mode group six for my lights. So for my light, I go uh, low secondary, fifteen percent, hundred percent. And then I also leave it with no memory, so when the light comes back on, uh, you know, after it's been off for at least five seconds, it always comes back on in amber, so, you know, in a hotel room or around the house late at night, it, um, it doesn't totally blind you. <laughs> if you left it on on high coming in the house, and then now you're inside, uh, it will come back on in amber. So some people want it to always come back on in the same mode that they left it, which is called memory. Um, so we'll talk about that in just a bit. But first off, to get it into programming mode, um, you're going to click 15 times really fast until it fla starts to flash when held on. This indicates that the dragon is in configuration mode. So can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to just demo that again. So first off, the way to do it, I'm giving light presses. I'm not going click, 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 click. I'm doing tap, 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 like I'm playing a video game when I was a kid. And then I don't actually count to 15. I just keep going like that until nothing's happening. And then I hold down. So I'm holding down now. And you can see it's in the programming mode. Okay. So now that's in that's that's how you know you're in configuration mode. Once you're in configuration mode, the light will give a solid flash from one to five times. The number of solid flashes indicates the option number to be changed. To select to ch and change the option, turn the light off and back on during the strobing flashes that immediately follow the solid flashes. For example, to choose option one, the light will start to flash one through eight times. Turn the light off and back on. The number of times you want comes up. When setting the temperature control, the light will go from programming to turbo. Turn the light off when it reaches the temperature you desire. I don't actually set the temperature piece because um, I don't leave it on turbo. And when the light gets super hot, I just step it down. Um, actually, I do use turbo, but not for extended periods of time uh, that make it feel like it's getting super hot. So what I'm going to demonstrate, so I have my light, again, in my default that I like, which is um, mode group 6. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to move back to mode group 1. Right, so I need to get into programming mode, go to mode group select, and then select mode group 1. So let's try this. Okay. Okay. So they, I hope you caught that. So it flashed twice, which I think is actually putting me into uh, mode group two. So let's see where I'm at. Yep. So I accidentally went to mode group two because I let it blink twice. So let me put it into mode group one. I'll demo again. So 15 times after, and toggle in mode group select and then go to one. Oh, I think I missed it again. Okay, I hope you caught that. Um, so now I should be in mode group one, which would go low secondary, high secondary, moonlight, oops, moonlight, uh, 5%, 15%, 35%, 50%, 
hundred percent and then back around to low secondary. Um, actually, I think I said it comes in mode group one as the default, but actually I believe it's mode group two. That's the default. It, it toggles through, uh, you know, uh, not, not that many modes. Okay. So now I'm in mode group one. Now say I want to, um, activate memory. So I'm going to go here into program mode, memory is two. So I'm going to go one, two. Now I'm going to turn memory off. So I, I hope that worked, or I mean turn memory on, I should say. So, okay, so I'm in like the third mode or something. So let's see if I come back on there. Yep. So I've turned memory on and then so let's say I go to Amber High and I leave it off. Then when I come back some amount of time later, I should come on in Amber High. Yep, and I do. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, switch the light back into my favorite mode, which is memory off and uh, mode group six. So first memory off. One, two, uh, two, off, and then on. Okay, let's see, did I, oops, went into strobe mode by accident. So I should be in memory off now. So when I come back on, I should uh, be in low secondary. So let's give it a little moment to reset because it's memory off. It should now come on in low secondary. Yep, there we go. So now I've got memory off. I want to go to uh, mode group six. So we'll do that now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I should be in mode group six, low secondary, 15%, 100%. So let's see. Nope. What did I do? I think I overshot and got into mode group seven by accident. So maybe I miscounted. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, maybe I counted right this time. Let's see. There we go. Mode group six, no memory. Hopefully that was helpful. I know it was a little bit long. Uh, and you can see that it's not the most trivial thing to do. Um, so if you're uh, getting frustrated with it, just practice and then also have that card in front of you. Or in our Laulima Metalcraft Facebook group, we have um, a picture of the card if you've lost it. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you have questions, let me know. I can do more videos.